Out of Missouri, possibly? No, out of state. Out of state, out of Arkansas? Yeah, and Missouri. More than 130 people crowded around for the sale, among them Lynn Spradley, who worked at the park for 18 years, first as a street sweeper and finally as a general manager. It's heart-wrenching to see, to see it sell. You know, it's one of those things somebody said earlier, he said, uh, to get it out of your, get something out of your system that you love, you, know, you have to go to the funeral, and I guess this was the funeral today. We just hope that uh, whoever bought it can uh, do something with it and uh, have as uh, important an Im uh, economic impact on uh, Newton County as Dogpatch had for so many years. It was so important to the young people in Newton County, it was a chance to uh, get a summertime job and develop some human relation skills and all those things that uh, you know, in a rural area, you're quite sheltered from. So uh, I hope that uh, in the years to come, we see something evolve out of it, whether it's an amusement business or, or whatever, something that will uh, really help the people in Newton County. Spradley says the infrastructure here at Dog Patch, the buildings, the, the pavement, that sort of thing, is in really good shape, certainly worth uh, the half million dollars that Brines is paying for it. The park was last open here in 1993. At this point, it's not known when it might reopen. Uh, as a theme park or as something else. Marcy?